are you feeling, love? Uh, yeah, I'm okay, thanks, Gran. You've been really strong. And you stood your ground, you told the truth. You've come through and it's all over now. Do you think Mel's okay? I'm really worried she hasn't taken any of that money yet. <sighs> I think that you've done everything that you can and you need to move on now. It's a birthday, girl. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, we've got you a little present. Okay, well, thank you. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I chose it myself. You're joking. It's just one of your old ones. Let's have a look. St. Michael's? How old is that? <laughs> Take no notice. They're just jealous. I love it, Gail. And I do need a jacket. Yeah, blazer? Mm -hmm. You can wear it tonight, can't you? Oh, yeah. It's your birthday meal at the bistro. I will wear it with pride. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Cup of tea. Right, I've got to go. You all right? Who is that? Oh, just a mate. You've not been nicking wallets again, have you? No, of course not. Right, I'm only joking. Yeah, I know. Right, I'll see you later. I'm late for work. Bye-bye. Oh, and happy birthday. Thank you. Hiya. Hey, Shona. Dad. Are you OK? Everyone's looking at me. They're not. It's in the papers. Yeah, but they don't mention you. They mention Nathan and everyone knows I was engaged to him. And they all know how evil he was. And how brave you were to do what you did, yeah? I checked my account. The money's gone now. Mm. Well, it probably means she's OK, then. I hope so, and I hope she's taken it and gone as far away from here as she can. Left it all behind. Right, I'll see you later. Now, Bistro, 3.30, don't forget. I won't. What do you want, Dane? I've come for my money. Well, you're not having it. I'm saving it for Clayton. Don't look like I care. Now, get me my money, cos you owe me. Years and years of childcare for that boy. I paid for everything for the first ten years. You're forgetting who you're talking to. Now, you can do this the easy way or the hard way. Your choice. Happy birthday, love. I'll be in touch. You OK? Just thinking. Well, you know, you can talk to me if you want to. I know that it's over. I know it is. But I can't forget. I've still got the memories and I don't want them. <sighs> Maybe we could try and do something to take your mind off it. Cinema, or go to the salon, do nails, baking. Oh, I used to love baking when you were little. Mum, will it stop hurting, Mum? <sighs> I don't know, my darling, but it will do, I promise. You know, there was a time not so long ago I was in a really bad place. And I thought that the pain would never end. But it did. And that's thanks to you and Gran and David. And they're my family. And that's your family. And we're going to help you get through this, OK? <sighs> OK. How are we doing? I think we're getting there, aren't we? I've, uh, bought you a present to cheer you up. Oh, thanks, Gary. Like it? Uh, yeah, it's great. But I do already speak Italian, <laughs> though. Yeah, that one was for me. Oh. This is for you. <gasps> Tickets to Milan! <laughs> Business class! <gasps> Gary, what have you done now? What do you mean? Oh, this is a guilt trip, isn't it? Are you cheating on Mum? <laughs> don't be daft. I don't care. We're going to Milan business class. <laughs> I just figured that we've all had a tough time these last few months and, well, I, I think you two have been amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, okay, thank you. OK, enough soppy stuff upstairs and get packed. We fly in a few hours.